It's just the game they were in. Because really, we're it was the, the Cavaliers Sixers. basketball Not network. today. The Sixers are the ones making all the news. Wow. Philly ending an 11-game drought against that Who were they team playing? Oh, with the an 11-point win last night, despite 30 from LeBron. He outscored the Cavaliers 13-3 in the final 2 minutes, 20 seconds. And if the season ended right now, the Sixers would face the Cavs in the first round. Is this win, does it mean anything? It means a lot for the Philadelphia 76ers, 76ers psyche. I mean, even though they don't have Kevin Love there in Cleveland, just to see and know that they can go out there and put together a good game and beat Cleveland finally after so long. I mean, with the talent of Ben Simmons, you got J.J. Redick, Embiid. I mean, these guys are, are, are young. They're excited. And if they don't have Kevin Love in the playoffs, Sixers could probably get him a, a nice run for seven games. I agree playoffs. with you on giving it a confidence booster for the Philadelphia 76ers, so I'm going to take it to the other side. If you're the Cleveland Cavaliers, more times you lose, you make the road tougher. So now, as you mentioned, they're in a 3-6 series against a Philadelphia team mm -hmm. that just beat them recently. You fall to the 4-5 matchup. Now you make the journey that much tougher for a team that is my favorite to come out of the East. All of a sudden, you put yourself in a situation not to even advance out of the conference. Let me ask you this, because you know at the beginning of the season, Chauncey, we, we said we need this Sixers team to be in the playoffs because they're interesting, they're fun. Joel Embiid makes everything a little bit more compelling. That being said, uh, I'm just going to go on the other side of the spectrum here. How far away or what do they need to become actual title contenders? The Sixers? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Don't ask me I like mean, that. I mean, everybody's got a shot. They haven't even made – they should be having just making the playoffs. I said I was going on the other end of the spectrum. Yeah, I mean, if they get LeBron next year – Okay, see, there you go. You know, then maybe they're title contenders. But, you know, as constructed, they should just continue to trust the process. Trust it. And continue to build on Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid and continue to shift those other pieces around until they get to the point where they're like, look, we can contend for a championship now. You know the media loves hot takes. Don't say and the media like you're not the media. Uh, I you, guess. You like those I, people. Uh, yeah, no, I, like, I like to separate myself from that foolishness oh, every enough. now and then. You said a word that's going to make them contenders. What was it? LeBron. They got to get LeBron. Okay. And that, I don't see that That's happening. it. Huh? Correct. That, that – is what completes the process. They still have to build out their roster. What's going to happen with Markel Fultz? They only took him number one in the draft. We don't know yet. Absolutely. Are they going to be able to retain J.J. Redick, who's on a one-year yeah, deal? Yeah, those pieces are always going to constantly shift around. The, as long as you got the constant of mm -hmm. Embiid They'll and, be there. and Ben Simmons, that's a great starting core right there. Covington will be there also. Covington, I mean, you know, these guys, other guys are replaceable. But when we're talking about being a contender, you turn that Covington into a guy like a, a, a borderline all-star. You know what I'm saying? Because these two guys are all-stars. What is there? Oh, there you go. So there are the potential free agents. Is there anything in between Zero and LeBron James that would do anything for you guys? Or is it just LeBron James or nothing? LeBron James are nothing for right. me because a lot of those guys to me are just not in play to be members of the Philadelphia 76ers. Right. That, right. That, that's just how it works out. It's only so much money. It's a salary cap driven sport. There's only so much movement. A lot of those guys, when they make a next move, it can't be a lateral one. Right. I agree with you. I mean, nobody else really kind of is realistic option for them outside of LeBron. But even LeBron, I'm not sure he's a realistic option yeah, that's... because of the billboards that were put out there in Philadelphia. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's real. I don't, <laughs> the thirst was, I don't even Funniest think that's man. a realistic option. But then, you know, they'll be contenders because, because of LeBron. But that team still, you need shooting in this league. And I don't see a lot of shooting in the lineup with LeBron, Ben Simmons. You know, Ben Simmons has even attempted a three this year. So you just mentioned it. So when you give LeBron James the ball, you take it away from Ben Simmons. Right. You just right. said he's and not a I mean, shooter, so he's yeah. going to be spotting up when I LeBron it, play makes? You know, it's going to take away from his development because you look at him like the second coming up, like a, a mini LeBron, like Kobe was to oh, Jordan. Maybe, maybe this a guy young is like king. a younger. Maybe you I like what you did there. Uh, LeBron. Well, that's LeBron. You know, LeBron James. I don't, I don't call anybody king, first of all. <laughs> I don't call We did no fight a war king. to get away from that. All right, we? but anyway, LeBron James. And, and that's what I'm saying about Ben Simmons. He's like a younger version of LeBron. And so I, I want to continue to get, let his development continue to grow and grow until he gets to that point. Because maybe if he don't get to LeBron James status, just like Kobe didn't get the Jordan status, but he came, he came close. We're, we're just mere mortals, so we can call people king. Like He's a Hall of <laughs> I Famer. I don't call people king. You know, he's a score 40 points. I'll call you queen, though. Queen oh, Beetle. There How you about go. that? What a great time to